Welcome to the Barbie Starter Tutorial for outfits made for Barbie out of printables available at my Etsy store, Printable Doll Clothes. The first step is to make the top. Take the top piece and place it around the doll underneath her arms like this. Hold it in place with these fingers and press it against her waist with your thumb and wrap it around the doll's body and overlap the edges in the back and tape in place. You may need to use more than one piece of tape to hold everything, all the edges in place. And be sure to turn the doll's head so that her hair does not get caught in the tape when you put the tape in place. These are the pieces to make a flared skirt. So I've taped these edges together and you want to just have a barely bit of overlap otherwise this will stick out when it's curved. I've put tape around the edge right here with the sticky part on this side. Turn this over. I want to make sure everything is aligned properly, starting at the top. And just a slight bit of overlap. Make sure that at the bottom is good. And then I'm going to press this together. I also had a bit too much overlap here, so I'll just put a little loop of tape and smooth it over and that'll help hold it in place. So this piece is the front because the train's in the back. So take the doll and slide her feet into the skirt, center it, keep it smooth at the front, and then just pinch with your fingers so that the extra sort of gathers in the back. Take a belt piece and wrap it around the doll's waist and place a piece of tape. Make sure that you get both edges of the belt to hold things securely. You can also make this an empire waisted top. I've just taped it in place underneath her arms to hold it in place. Then I add the belt. I'm going to make a straight skirt, and for this particular design, I'm lining up this point with that point, just to make things more interesting. I'm going to wrap this around the doll, tape the overlap in the back. I'm gonna push in with my fingers right here at the waist, and there'll be sort of a front and a back. Just pull with your fingers forward, and then push back. Make everything very smooth. Then I'm gonna take a belt piece, and wrap it around to hold everything in place and tape in the back. Now I'm going to prepare a circle. This is going to be a circle skirt, but this is the same method to prepare a big circle or a small circle. Fold it in half, fold it in quarters, and just keep folding until you get to this point. Fold it out to the half, and along the lines that you folded, using those as a guide, you're going to fold it first one way, and then the other, to accordion pleat it. And then when you unfold, it should look like this. Next, you'll want to cut out the inner circle. I'm going to take this prepared circle and cut up this line to make a circle skirt. I'm going to take the skirt and wrap it around her waist and overlap the edges in the back and tape. To make a mermaid skirt, take it all with a straight skirt and smooth the skirt around her knees. You can put a piece of tape to hold anything in place. I'm going to take the circle skirt and wrap it around her knees and then tape both ends on each side and that makes a mermaid skirt. You may need to do some adjustments to get it just right. This is a strap piece. You can just slide it into the doll's dress on the front and then tuck it in behind. Angle them however you want to, so sort of together for a halter top look or however you want. I make a band by folding a strap piece in half and either cutting or tearing. Then I take a piece of tape Put it on the end and wrap this and tape in place around the doll's arm for a cap sleeve. You can also use them for necklaces by just wrapping them around the doll's neck. This band has an interesting design. I taped two together on the back and I'm going to wrap this around the doll's arm to make a double band sleeve. There are a lot of sleeves that can be made by taking a small prepared circle and cut it in half.
wrap it around the doll's arm. You can either wrap it underneath her arm or push it up a little bit more. And with a piece of tape, tape it in place. And to hold the sleeve more securely, pinch with your fingers and add a band. I'm going to make this a puff sleeve. So I'm going to gather it with my fingers at the bottom and press down on the tops of the high ridges points. And I'm going to take a band and wrap it around the area I've pinched and gathered. And you make a middle puff sleeve by pressing around the middle of the sleeve and taping in place with a band. And I'm going to wrap this sleeve half around the cap sleeve I did earlier and tape in place, which makes this sleeve. You can make a collar by taking a belt and wrapping it around and taping in place in the back. This doll has very wide shoulders, so I had to tape it directly to her sleeve, but for a doll with narrower shoulders, you would tape it to the back of her dress. You can make a little cape for your doll by cutting a prepared small circle and putting it around her shoulders. To hold it in place, take a small piece of tape facing up and put it underneath each of the edges and form it around her shoulders with your hands and then it should stay in place. I'm going to make wings by taking a top and folding it in half, cut from slightly above the bottom to this point right here. This will give me this will give me a triangle piece to be the base for the wings and the top wing shape. I'm going to take these and fold this side. Fold this side. And unfold. And since I want this edge to be the top of the wings, I'm going to fold them like this and just smooth in the middle. And I laid it flat on the table to put the wing piece on top of the bottom piece and tape in place. I'm going to add a loop of tape, although you can use double-sided tape, and this will be to attach the wings to the doll. Center them on the doll and just tape them to her back. And this does put tape directly on the doll, so only do this on a doll you are okay with getting tape on. And by mixing and matching these pieces, you can create lots of different outfits. Thank you for watching.